In this lesson, we will create a new Maven based Spring MVC project. And in the following video lessons, we will configure it to support Java server pages and also time leaf Java template engines. All right, so to create a new project, I will use Spring Initializer tool. It is opened on my screen. You can open it by going to start.spring.io website. And this tool allows us to create Maven based Spring Boot projects that can be imported into any development environment that supports Java, for example, and Maven. Once you create a new project using Spring Initializer, you can then import this project into Eclipse, IntelliJ, NetBeans, or any other Java development environment that supports Maven. All right, so this is going to be Maven based project. So I will keep Maven selected. I'm going to build my Spring MVC project with Java. So I will keep Java selected. Next, I will select the desired Spring Boot version. I will continue with the one that is selected. And next, I will need to provide metadata or Maven coordinates for my project. So the first option is group ID. And project group ID is something that uniquely identifies your project across all other projects. And it should follow the Java naming rules. This means that it will need to start with a reverse domain name that you control. For example, in my case, most of the tutorials that I create, I publish on my appsdeveloperblog.com website. So the project group ID for me will be a reversed domain name. So it will start with com and then apps developer blog. I will then continue with something like tutorials and then spring and then maybe MVC. All right. So next is artifact and artifact ID is a name of the generated jar file, but without a version attached to it. When we build our Spring Boot application, it will produce either a jar file or a deployable var file. So here we will specify a name of that file, but without a version included. All right. Let's assume that we are building eStore e-commerce application. So I will give my application artifact ID, something like eStore, for example. And next is project name. And as project name, I will use the same name that I have used for artifact ID. Description I can leave empty or I can say something like eStore Spring MVC web application. And now I will need to provide a unique package name. And this is usually same as group ID, but with artifact ID attached to it. So the final package name for my project will be a combination of group ID plus artifact ID and Spring Initializer has already put these two values together. Next, I can specify how I want my project to be packaged when it is built. When I download and build this application using Maven, it will be either packaged as jar file or as var or web application archive file. I will choose jar for now. And in later video tutorials, I'll show you how to create a deployable Spring Boot web application as well that is packaged into web application archive file or var. Next, we can choose Java version. I'm currently using Java 11. So I will keep Java 11 selected. And finally, we will need to provide dependencies that our project needs. For different projects, there are different dependencies. But to create a Spring Boot application that supports Spring Web MVC framework, we'll need to add a dependency for Spring Web. So I will click on add dependency button and then I will search for Spring Web. And the very first item in the search result is what we need. This dependency includes libraries that support building both Spring MVC web applications as well as Spring Boot RESTful web services. And it also includes a default Apache Tomcat server container embedded. All right, so I will select this dependency. And at this moment, this is all I need. So I will click on generate button and it will generate a new Maven based project based on the options that I have selected here. And it will let me download it to my computer. I can then import this project into my Java development environment that I prefer to use. So I will click on generate button and it will generate and download project to my computer. I can find it in downloads folder. I will bring in finder window, then I will go to downloads. And here is my eStore zip archive. 
I can unzip it by double clicking on it. And here's my Maven project. All right, so now I can open it in any development environment that I have. This is IntelliJ Community Edition. To open this project, I will click on Open button. We'll go to Downloads folder, select Application folder, and click on Open. Select Trust this project. And here is my new Spring Boot project that supports Spring MVC. Now, at this moment, this is an empty application, so it does not do anything if I run it. But if you want to run it, you can do so. To run this project in IntelliJ development environment, I can open the main application file that has public static void main, and I can simply run it as Java application. To do that, I can do right mouse click in the file and then choose run. So that will start up default Tomcat on port number 8080. To stop this application, I will click on stop button, which is on the left side menu here. All right, so now that we have created a new project, we can start working on our Spring MVC web application. And in the following two video lessons, I'll show you how to configure this project to support GSP, Java Server Pages, and also Timeleaf Java Template Engines, that you can use to build and display user interface pages. Let's continue.